it's coming up on Tech Live. That's that's what Exciting. happens. I start with a little tank, a little fish, and I know. Suddenly you know, you've got a four and a half pound shark, <laughs> a shark eat there. you out of house and home. Whew. And the cat. Anyhow, uh, last November we talked about building a directional Wi-Fi antenna from a coffee can. Should I walk over there? Go ahead. All right, let's go over to where we got all the props set up. All right. So we took, we start with a Pringles can. Pringles can antennas are horrible to build. Coffee can antennas are simpler, and you can use almost any kind of can. What you end up is a gadget that looks like this. Now let's launch our machine here real quick. We got Max Dumbler running. It's an application you can use. It basically goes out and scans and sees all the access points in your area. Now take a look at that. We got the inside of the can here. Back of that we've got where the node for our antenna sticks out. We're going to connect this to a cable. Now basically it's real simple. You need an antenna. Connect the antenna to your computer. Oh, did we get Leo. Yeah, I'm here. Why don't I'm you just, come over here, Leo? We I don't, don't want to get in the way. That's just, uh, don't you go I'm afraid you're going to aim that thing you in my get head. In the way. <laughs> Sterilize you or right, so you're running Stumbler. We're right. running Stumbler, which is a program that will sense uh, Wi-Fi connections. It's let you not know what's too bad. It's what it's doing I there. I love it. It's fun to play with. We got a, we There's got a, a PC a, version, Net Stumbler. Exactly. So we got a list that's moving up there at the top. The top half of the list shows all of the targets that it's picking up. The bottom half shows everything it's listed and the highest history. So we actually... Go ahead, Judy. Just go, go right through here. We're just doing a TV show. No problem. You don't have to duck. Everybody knows you're there. So take a look at this back here. we got our target here. The green one at the bottom is one of the better signals. Hold okay. that. Yes. Aim that that way. What we're going to do is we're going to open up this. No, no, sir. Move out of the way. This could hurt. <laughs> it's really funny. The doors are opening and people are running oh, in the Oh, my background. God. He ran. He got out of there. It's okay. So we're going to do this inside the iBook that I've been using because I'm trying to make the switch, you know. And it's you not know, the new. Uh, you like the new. Uh, you like the new uh, Airport Extreme. It has an, if one of the versions has an external connector for yes. just this uh, occasion. Which would be nice because this is not a practical now, way to use that. By the way, look at his screen. He just gets connected to his airport. There's nothing. And nothing. Nothing is left on. <coughs> Basically, we've lost all of the access points. Proof in the positive. And there's still nobody down the hall. Still nobody down the hall, oh, okay. and they're all nervous. Okay, so we got an access point buried around the corner. Oh, I see it on the floor there. Okay, exactly. Good. Actually, right. it was supposed to be behind the wall to make it harder to hit. But, but we want to see it. This is television. See it. This yeah. is television. Yeah. Why is the oh, visual? No, sir. So to get out of the way. Oh my God, the humanity. Okay. He's not, we're not plugged in yet. <laughs> oh, all right. Now we start irradiating people and taking care of future <laughs> generations. All right, now. Ooh. The signal Ooh. should jump up a lot. It was before. Don't dance with the antenna. One thing you want to do when you're pointing one of these, it's very Aim directional. It. Aim it. Aim well, it. you should put a little sight on it. I'll, you know, maybe I'll do that next. One of the things we find, we notice here is one, it's directional. It's line of sight. Oh my God! Which means if it, it hit Martin, we just prevented He's Martin from having no children. He's got no rear end now. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Completely. <laughs> Hi, Carolyn. Okay, don't mind us. <laughs> don't mind us. What will happen, though, is the signal will go up as you use this. But what will happen is if you've got anything like, I couldn't compute from my beach because there's a sand dune in between the beach and the house. Right. Too many houses in the neighborhood see so elevated. Oh, you know what? I was hurting it because I was touching the can. Exactly. So, so now gonna, it's better now. It should jump up. It should get up to about 60, 70, somewhere around there. Wow. Yeah, it's good stuff. What will happen, though, is if you go to something like a commercial antenna, these are actually a little more efficient. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> this is my favorite. This so, is the yeah. big gun. This is the gun. big scary one. Yeah. Here, you hold on to the big scary okay. one, the Air Station Pro. Buffalo loaned this to us. What's interesting, though, is these aren't actually the... <laughs> While the coffee can antennas are a lot more efficient than the Pringles antennas... I know what you're thinking. There's actually... Thank you. Okay. There's actually... Uh, using thinner cans and longer cans are actually much more efficient. They pick up the signal better. Ah. And we've got some links to a guy who put That's together... That's why the Pringles was better. No, the Pringles was worse. Worse. The metal cans actually work a lot metal, better, okay. and a thinner, longer can works better okay. than a short, thick one. We have is a really good website link that actually has a calculator that no matter what size can you use, it'll tell you how good it's doing. And actually, the signal should jump oh, look a little at that. bit yeah. higher again. Oh, now it's really going. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. 57, 58. And every three decibels you go up is essentially a doubling in strength. It's logarithmic. Exactly. And you know what? This can get you in trouble with the FCC. And if they do show up your house saying you use an improper, illegal combination of a non-approved antenna with an 802.11 card, don't I'll call just, us. Just say Patrick gave it to you. No, don't say Patrick <laughs> gave it to you. Say Leo gave it to you. You have property. Let's sue you first. <laughs> So that's, I mean, that's basically what's, what's coming on there. NetStumbler, as you mentioned earlier, is, is a good program for doing this on the PC. It's a great way to track down your network. And the CAN antennas, they're simple and they're easy, and they allow you to get a pretty good signal across the distance. And again, we don't recommend this as a home form of contraception. No. No. No, and actually, it probably is very ineffective at that. Speaking of contraception, um, LMR 400 is the kind of cable Look at this cable. Here. Where do you get do that? Do not, yeah. We found it from a ham radio outlet in our area. This stuff's about 60 cents a foot. Ooh. If you try to use regular coax for your cable, yeah. 
10 feet of that, you'll have no signal coming out. It will absorb all of the signal okay. from your card. Okay. So make sure you use a good shielded cable. All right. Very all right. Nice. Now, put down the gun, Mr. Laporte. For instructions on building your cantana, go to the screensavers.com. We've got links to the applications, the websites. It's all fun and games, Clyde. <laughs> Steal your car and sell it for parts. So there we are, folks. Megan's going to take great pleasure in destroying AOL instant messenger ads in a tick. There's Marty. Let's <laughs> and see if we can get him. Protect that Mac. Hey, After the break, hey, we'll show hey. you how to secure your Mac and keep it safe online when the screensavers continues. You, you run, doing? Marty, run! Marty. Run, you fool! Oh, my God. 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 Oh